All right, I've got my dry fit taken apart, and this is one of the sides. And on my uh, computer generator model, I had this. Uh, this is 48 inches long, but I was making the um, toe kick with a 34 inch slot. But if I remember correctly, that would be 7 inches from each end. And that's where my radius point would be for my toe kick. 3 inch radius at approximately that point right there. And that doesn't leave me much room or enough room for my adjuster. Let me just grab a quick measurement here. So my reality piece here is five inches. So I'm going to need, I'm going to say six out here. Actually, I should go seven. Now I'm going to go six so I can keep it flush. <clears throat> so I'm going to go flush to the corner. Six inches, minus three, or plus three, is nine. So I'm going to set my my one uh, adjustable, adjustable square here at nine. The other one at three. And get some marks here. So nine. Do both ends. Three inches is going to be my straight cut here. I'm going to try and keep this as close to the edge as possible. Put my pencil line on my 9 inch mark. No, I want, sorry, I want that to be out here. Okay. I'm going to extend this line here. This one. Even though I don't need it, I mean I could just leave it because I'm going to be cutting it away anyway. But just so I make sure I scroll saw the right line. So now looking at this, that gives me plenty of room. I don't want this to be right to this edge because it's, you'll if you kick it. So, there we are. I'll lay out the other side. On this end, I mean, I'll lay out the other end, do the other piece. Uh, I'm going to make this straight cut as much as I can on the table saw with a plunge cut. I'll show you that. 
Then I'll scroll saw the, the remaining part here. Okay, here's my setup for uh, making this long rip cut first. I'm three inches from the outside of the blade to the fence. I'm just going to double check that. Yep, okay. This is the same, same tool I used to lay out the line. I use my tape here at two and seven eighths, but that's just a good double check. Um, so I took, I use a blade stabilizer on my saw blade. I took that off so that I can raise the blade fully up. I took and drew a line, or put a piece of wood back here at the exit point, came over and moved my line back a half an inch. I know that that way I won't uh, run into the, you know, the danger of over cutting this. I don't want it to show because the good good side is down here and then same thing on the front here I push this line a half inch forward so I'm gonna put the blade down line up this line with the tape raise the blade fully push it through until this line it gets to that point right there so I'll line this up That's good right there. There's enough mass on this thing. I'm just going to hold it, raise the blade, and we should be fine here. Evidently, I went to uh, I went to back to my combo blade instead of the uh, 80 tooth. That looks good. So I'll finish the rest of this off with my jigsaw.